saints. Amen. Praise the Lord. I pray all is well with your soul today. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Can we just give God praise by lifting our hands and our voices and just telling him how wonderful he really is. Amen. Because he's been good unto us. He's been amazing. He's been kind. Amen. He's been just. Amen. He's been uh, merciful and he's been gracious. So we just give him the glory this morning. We thank him truly for being our father and our God. Amen. If you would, in the book of Acts, amen, there's a familiar story to, to some, amen, and perhaps new to others. But in Acts, the third chapter, uh, when you're there, say amen. If amen. not, just raise your hand. So uh, uh, first lady, I know you need a little bit more time online. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> amen. You know, we do things a little different now since I can't see you. Amen. We can see you on the computer if you're there. Amen. amen. Glory. Have mercy. But nevertheless, here in Acts, the third chapter, amen. Beginning at verse number one, you will find these words. <clears throat> Now, Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple, who, seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked an alms. And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. And he gave, gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. And he leaping up stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. Amen. Uh, let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you now, God, for this wonderful opportunity, God, not only just to stand before your people, God, but to be in your presence by the gift of your Holy Spirit. We thank you for your Son, Jesus the Christ, the Savior of the world, our, our Lord and our Savior. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for uh, being obedient even unto the death of the cross. We thank you for the love for the Father and the love for mankind. We thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit that, that dwells on the inside, that leads and guides and, and help us to understand truly your word. Now by your gift, God, we're asking now that you would grant unto us, even in a time such as this, your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding, your power, your might, your counsel, uh, your anointing. Let it fall afresh, God, not only just upon us, God, but come on in and occupy our hearts that we may be found truly to be the children of the Most High God. We give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. For it's in the precious and mighty name of Christ, we pray this prayer, that the people of God say amen, amen, amen and amen. Amen. Well, saints, I don't plan to be before you long, amen. But there is a word from the Lord. And if you would allow me a few moments, I just want to talk from the topic more than. Amen. Tell your neighbor, say more than. If you ain't got a neighbor in your house today, just simply tell yourself more than. Amen. And so uh, in this particular passage, eh, in the book of Acts, amen. First of all, Acts is uh, the 44th uh, uh, book of the Bible. When I give you my statistics, amen, they come from the King James Version, amen. Uh, Acts contains 28 chapters, uh, 1,007 verses, 24,250 words, 75 questions, 949 verses of history, 21 Old Testament prophecies, 20 new prophecies, and 49 verses of fulfilled and 14 verses of unfulfilled prophecy. Amen. Its themes, its theme centers around the acts of the Holy Spirit and of the apostles in confirming the word of God, the spread of Christianity and the ministry of Paul, the apostle to the Gentiles. Amen. So, so that's the book of Acts. Amen. And, and Acts, I believe is, is can really be uh, summarized by saying action. Amen. Wow. Cause Acts is the book of of action. Amen. So, so here we are in this third chapter of Acts. And, and as I began to, to look over this particular passage, amen, I've even preached from this 
passage before. I, I don't recall what the title was, but, but I found that every time I read the word of God, God has, uh, God through his gift, uh, the Holy Spirit can always increase your knowledge of him, your wisdom of him, your understanding of him. He always can do a new thing, even in a passage. If you read it yesterday and you read it today, God can still give an increase. He can still do something different in the passage. Amen. So so I find myself looking at this passage. Amen. And, and as I looked at this passage, amen, I had been telling first lady that I had even been singing it. Amen. Uh, uh, this song written by Tony Hester in 1971. And, and in 1971, he, he wrote and produced a single um, by which the dramatic song. Amen. And that tune was called What You See Is What You Get. Amen. And, and so this song had been playing in my mind and and then I come and I find myself singing it out. And, and I didn't really understand why I kept singing this song. Amen. What you see is what you get. Amen. And and, and, and although this song rings out, it, it, it was a popular song during, during my tender in my childhood days. Amen. I, I couldn't have been no more than as the young girl said in the movie, the woman called, I think the woman said she was 12. She said, no, I was 12 and three fourths. You know, I don't know why <laughs> even as children, we always want to be older than what we are. Amen. So I was somewhere around, depending on when this song came out, I had to be five and a half or, or five and three fourths. And uh, uh, I might've been six and six, you know, in a fourth, in a, but whatever, amen, in 1971, amen, Tony Hester wrote and produced a song that was sung by the dramatics in the tune of what you see is what you get, amen. Well, I'm, I'm going to get into that a little bit more, but as I look at this particular book of Acts, amen, I, I find here in the third chapter, uh, uh, the Bible tells me in verse number one, uh, Peter and John, they they went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. So here Peter and John is in the Bible. Also, if, if, if you really look at it in the book of Acts, amen, uh, it, uh, we will find seven other times that these two apostles are together, amen. And, and so here in verse one, they are headed to the temple uh, to pray. Uh, according to the Jews, amen, there, there were three times uh, uh, they should be praying during the day, amen. Uh, 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 matter of fact, uh, uh, they should be praying, uh, one would be uh, at 9 a.m., uh, another time would be at 12 noon, and then the third time would be uh, uh, three at 3 p.m. In the, in the evening. So so even in that, if we stopped there and just looked at it, uh, somebody say prayer is certainly important. Prayer is important. Uh, uh, as a Christian, prayer is vital. Amen. E especially when you're praying to someone who could do something about what you're praying for. Amen. Uh, 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 when you're praying to somebody who has all the power in his hand, when you are praying to the creator and the maker of this earth. Amen. Your, your prayer, amen, can be a powerful thing uh, because of who is or, or who you are praying to. Amen. So, so here, Peter and John were on their way, uh, 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 on their way to the temple for prayer. Amen. And it's the, the ninth hour. Amen. Somebody say it's nine in the morning. It's nine in the morning. Amen. Well, in verse two, it tells us, uh, you know the story. Most of us uh, have already read it. And if not, uh, uh, let me introduce you. In verse number two, it said there was a certain man lame from his mother's womb was and, and was carried whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple which is called beautiful to ask alms of them that enter into the temple amen uh maybe not but when i read this i see a professional baby amen uh, uh, because he's he's laid there what every day amen he, he 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 they bring him there to the same place every day because they know that people are going to the temple to not only pray but to give their offerings amen so 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 it's in one aspect he know they are not going empty-handed okay. amen so 
So here they, they because they say he 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 was lame. Amen. Glory have mercy from from his mother's womb. He was born uh, with some type of of disability. Amen. And and they would take him every morning and and put him at the gate. This this gate of the temple called beautiful. This this gate was about thirty one by sixty two feet. Amen. So so it, it it's a huge gate. Amen. It's it's an amazing gate and and it was made of brass and and every day they would set him there and 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 he was set there until uh they come and get him amen and and all that time he will be asking arms he would be asking for help he will be asking for somebody to give him something Amen. Glory. I, maybe I shouldn't say it. He was a, a professional beggar, but I'm just going to say he, he, his disability. Amen. And, and he used that disability at the gate called beautiful. Amen. We, we got some other folk. Amen. Y'all know them. Amen. Glory. Him. Some of them even, oh Lord, him. Some of them are your blood relatives. Amen. They are good at, at acting like they are sitting at the gate of beautiful. Amen. Uh, somebody help me out today. Amen. They they might not they, they and they don't even have disabilities. Amen. They they just sit at your gate called beautiful, uh, 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 asking for a handout, asking for a uh, help, whether they need it or not. But yet, Amen. I, I I'm not here to talk about that. Amen. But but here we are. He's been set at the gate. And the gate called beautiful, amen. And and he's asking alms as people enter into the temple, amen. Now, now watch this. It, isn't it amazing that he don't ask them when they're coming out? He asks them what while they're going in, amen. And it's just like some folk, they know when you got money, so they ask you when you got it, mm -hmm. amen. So, so here he is sitting at the gate and he's asking for money. Uh, somebody say more than, amen. Well, and so here in verse number three, it says, while he's uh, asking for alms, it says, who's seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple? He asked an alms. Uh, so he sees Peter and John, and he, and he simply know they're going into the temple, and he asked them for something. Amen. He, he asked them for some help. Some, uh, he asked them, uh, we don't know exactly what it was, but, but we are assuming uh, uh, it's some type of offering. It's, it's some type of what? Help. Amen. And and the Bible says in verse number four, and Peter fastened his eyes upon him with John said, look on us. And he gave uh, heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Uh, so so here the Bible tells us that uh, he asked Peter and John and Peter and John looked at him. Amen. And and as they looked on him, uh, Peter uh, uh, said, uh, said unto him, look on us. Amen. So uh, we got your attention. So he said, look on us. And and then when he looked, the Bible said he was expecting to receive what? Something. He, he was expecting for them to put something in his hand. He was expecting uh, some type of a gift. Amen. But the Bible says in verse number six, then Peter said, silver and gold have I none. No, uh, uh, Peter said, I ain't, I ain't a rich man. Amen. Glory. I mean, I'm, I'm just a hard working man. Amen. In other words, uh, Peter was what? A fisherman. Amen. And, and he said, uh, he said, then Peter said, silver and gold have I none. He but such as I have, give I thee. He said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Oh, and in verse number seven, amen, it said, and he took him by the right hand and lifted him up and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. Okay. And he leaping up stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. Amen. Not that's not what I intended to talk about today, but I, I just want to. Can I make a footnote? Amen. In in verse number eight, Amen. When when God has done something for you, Amen. The the lame man gives us a good example of some things we ought to have when it happens. Amen. Glory. In this case, in verse number eight. It said after he had received strength uh, uh, in his bones, in his ankle bones, in verse 8 it said, and he leaping up 
glory, have mercy, and walk and enter with them in the temple. And when he entered into the temple, watch this. Uh, uh, see, we just walk in, sit down, and then we, we most of the time we talk about stuff we ought not be talking about why, even while we in church. Amen. But we can take note from uh, the, 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 the lame man and the fact that when he got to the temple, it said walking and leaping and praising God. And I want you all to come to church uh, already praising God when you enter yeah. Uh, uh, oh, glory, Helmer, we got to wait for, for uh, uh, the praise team to, to get up. But, but uh, oh Lord, Helmer, tell somebody, but if God's done something for you, amen, you ought to enter into his house with the praise. You ought to enter into his house with worship. You ought to enter into his house with thanksgiving. Amen. Glory be to God. But 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 but, but ah, let, 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 let's go back because I, I need y'all to get what we want to talk about today. Amen. Glory be to God. Well, uh in this particular book of Acts, the third chapter. So we 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 set the stage. Peter and John are on their way to the temple for prayer. And then they meet a man who's been lame since uh, he was born, that they placed at the gate, amen, the gate called beautiful, and, and he's asking folks for arms as they go in, amen, and, and at this time, he sees Peter and John, and, and Peter and John, Peter looks at him and said, look on us, and, 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 and when he looks on them, expecting the Bible say to receive something, Peter speaks out, amen, and Peter said, uh, silver and gold have we none, but that that we have, amen, glory be to God. Uh, uh, but such as I have, give I thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Amen. So here Peter is. Uh, he has a gift for the man. He has an arms to give the man. And, and it's more than what the man expects. Amen. So somebody help me oh here today. God. See, see, uh, uh, the reason why the song, what you see is what you get, uh, what was playing in my spirit is simply because God was telling me uh, as a Christian, it ought not be what you see is what you get. They ought to get more than what they see. Uh, 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 and the reason they ought to get more than what they see, amen, because what they see on the on the outside doesn't always uh, uh, measure up to what's on the inside. Amen. Uh, uh, can, 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 can we just talk about it for a moment? Amen. See, because if we moved on, amen, in the 14th and 15th verse, amen, of this same chapter, we will find that in verse 14, uh, this is Peter talking, because what has uh, unfolded is the fact that since the man is doing all this praising and worshiping and, and leaping and walking, amen, it, it has messed some of the people up, amen, uh, really the leaders, amen, uh, 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 watch this, uh, the leaders, uh, 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 the Jewish leaders at the time, and, and the reason why it messed them up, amen, go to Hamas, we can find that in the rest of the story, amen. So, so I'm gonna start at verse 11 so I can get y'all where we're going. It's that, and as the lame man which was healed by Peter and John and all the people ran together unto them in the porch that is called Solomon's, greatly wondering. It say, and when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, Ye men of Israel, Israel, why marvel ye at this? Or why look ye so earnestly on us as though by our own power or holiness we had made this man to walk? He said, the God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, hath glorified his son Jesus, whom ye delivered up and denied in him the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go. Oh, so, so, so Peter said, let me put it where it ought to be. Uh, he said in verse 14, Peter said, but she denied the Holy One and the just and desired a murderer to be granted unto you. Amen. Uh, 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 this is the same Peter said, uh, y'all denied the Holy One. This is the same Peter that denied him too. But, 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 but what Peter got now is, is, is different because Peter got what? The Holy Ghost. Amen. He, he got the gift on the inside. And in verse 15, amen, the writer says, and kill the prince of life, whom God has raised from the dead, well, uh, we are witnesses. Amen. Now, 
No, uh, uh, now, nah, now nah, more than somebody say more than more than amen. Well, in verse um, 14 and 15, uh, Peter gives us some, some things that are going to help us out, amen. See, in verse 14, uh, Peter tells them who did who they denied. Uh, who did they deny? Uh, uh, they denied in verse 14 the holy one, uh, in verse 14, the just, amen, and, and in verse 15, the prince of life, amen. Well, I need to talk about about the prince for a moment there is, is it all right okay see see in, in, in verse 15 amen uh, in, in verse 14 and 15 gives us some characteristics of who jesus really is amen and and when he talks about the prince of life in the greek the word uh, uh prince is archagos uh, uh, uh archagos and it is defined as leader or author one who stands at the head or at the beginning of a list or rank. Amen. Uh, according to scripture, uh, Christ is in, in the book of Isaiah 9 and 6. Uh, he's the prince or author of peace. Amen. Uh, in Daniel the 8th chapter, verse 25, uh, he's known as the prince or leader of princes. <laughs> In Daniel the ninth chapter, verse twenty-five, he's known as uh, as the Messiah, the Prince, or the Messiah, the Anointed. Amen. And and in the book of Acts, the third chapter, verse fifteen, here he's known as the Prince of Life, or the Author of Life. Amen. And in Acts the fifth chapter, verse number thirty-one. Amen. He's also known as a Prince and a Savior. Amen. Uh, Revelations, the first chapter, uh, verse number five, amen. He's known as the prince or leader or ruler of the kings of the earth. Amen. In Hebrews, the second chapter, verse number 10, he's known as the captain of salvation or the prince of salvation or the author of salvation. Amen. And then in verse uh, tw in chapter 12 of Hebrews, verse number two, uh, we know this one very well because he's called the author or prince and finisher of our faith. Amen. So, so in verse uh, 14 and 15, um, Peter is giving them, glory, have mercy, uh, who Christ really was. Amen. Uh, uh, giving him some more uh, characteristics uh, uh, of the power and the majesty of Christ Jesus. Well, Pastor, what does that have to do with more than? Well, I'm glad you asked. Amen. Because Peter could only say these things by the gift. Of the Holy Spirit. And over the last couple of Sundays, we've been in the book of Romans where we talked about in the eighth chapter the indwelling of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And now that we're talking about the indwelling of the Holy Ghost, John the 14th chapter, verses 16 and 17, and 26 and 27 reads like this. And this is Jesus speaking. And, and Jesus said, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you uh, forever. He said, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. All right. And in 26 and 27 verse, he says this. He said, but the comforter, which is, a, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Somebody say, uh, he was speaking to the apostles and the, and the disciples, but he's still speaking to us because the word of God speaks to us. Amen. So then he goes on, he said, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world give it, Give I unto you, let your heart be, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Then in John the 15th chapter, verse 26 and 27, uh, Jesus says this. He said, but when the comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, he said, even the spirit of truth, amen, which proceeded from the Father, watch this here. He said, he shall testify of me. Oh my God. Uh oh, glory, have mercy. And then in verse 27, and ye also shall bear witness 
Oh, glory. Uh, because she have been with me from the beginning. All right. Now, now, now watch this here. Amen. Somebody say more than. Amen. Uh, 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 the reason why uh, uh, the man that sat at the gate called beautiful got more than what he expected is because, uh, uh, first of all, he could not see what was inside Peter. He couldn't see what was inside Peter and John. According to the scriptures, the world uh, won't receive the Holy Ghost because they can't, they can't now what? See him. Amen. But, 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 but watch this here. Uh, um, and because he could not see him when he acts, uh, he got more than what he expected uh, because Peter, uh, who was not with the Holy Ghost when he denied God, uh, now is found with the Holy Ghost. Uh, and the Bible says that the Holy Ghost is going to testify what? Of Jesus. Huh? We're talking about the same Jesus that I told you was the author of peace, the prince of peace. The same Jesus I just told you uh, that was uh, 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 the author and finisher of our faith. The same Jesus I just told you was the captain of salvation. The same Jesus I just told you uh, I was the prince, leader, or ruler of the kings of this earth. The same Jesus I just said was a prince and a savior. The the same Jesus I just said was a prince or author of life. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. So, so when the man asked and Peter spoke, amen, it was not Peter that was speaking. It was the Holy Ghost that was offering the lame man a new life. Uh oh, glory. Hell mercy. Amen. And, and because the Holy Ghost uh, didn't testify of the bishop, Dr. So-and-so, but because the Holy Ghost only testified according to what the Father has already said, that the Holy Ghost would testify of the author of life, yes, yes, yes. which is Jesus Christ, uh, the giver of life, the, the giver of salvation, the healer, amen, the doctor, amen, the deliverer, amen. The, oh, Lord, help us today. Uh, uh, he's more than, somebody say, enough. More than enough. More than enough. Oh, God. So when the man asked, amen, he, he, he received more than what he got, uh, more than what he expected. Amen. And and so now here we are as the children of God. Amen. Uh, with the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, we've been walking around even telling folks uh, what you see is what you get. <laughs> but today, amen, what you see is what you get uh, is what I used to be when I was in my fleshly state. Oh, my God. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Because I only acted what? In my flesh, amen. So what you saw in my flesh is what you got, amen. But but now that I'm, somebody say, born again. <laughs> Glory, amen. Now that I've been filled with the Spirit, amen. Now that I have a personal relationship with Christ Jesus, amen. Uh, uh, his Spirit that dwells on the inside say, no, what you see is what you get don't apply to us because now what you get is more than what you bargained for more than what you expect because now when i speak to you it's not i that speak it but the holy ghost that liveth in me jesus that's why now i can call those things that aren't as if they are uh, by faith. Uh, why? Because it's the Holy Spirit uh, that's doing the talking. It's the Holy Spirit that's doing the living. It's the Holy Spirit. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, somebody said more than. More than. Uh, as a saint. Now in the life that we live, people are getting more than what they used to getting out of you. Oh Amen. Jesus. Because beforehand, you acted only the way that the world wanted you to act. But now as a born again saint, as a child of the most high God, ah, as a disciple of Christ Jesus, oh, with the Holy Ghost indwelling, living on the inside. When they see you now, somebody say more than. <laughs> they gonna get 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 more than. Jesus, thank you, God. 
Even for us as the born again Christians, the born again children of God. God is saying, even with you, amen, you won't get more than what you expected. You're going to get more than because, because you ain't even uh, touched so called the iceberg of who I am, said God. There's more than what you think, there's more than what you expect, and there's more than what you're going to get. Because I am the almighty God, the everlasting Father. All power is in my hand. Power to bless, power to curse, power to raise up, power to set down. Oh, glory, help me. Somebody say more than. More than. Jesus. Hallelujah. More than. As a more, as a born again believer. I'm ending now. Amen. We must move like Peter and John. Uh, from one point in God to another, from one place in God to another. See, we've all started off like Peter. Amen. What you mean, Pastor? Amen. When you wasn't saved, amen, uh, uh, you denied Christ by the life you lived. Amen. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yes, yes, you did. Uh, you denied him in the life that you live and, and watch this uh, even as peter uh when you got saved amen uh uh see peter was walking with jesus amen even when he denied him amen when when, when peter denied jesus he, he was still walking with jesus every day he was learning from jesus amen but but it could not what keep him from denying who christ was amen we we've all had those moments amen you you go to church amen been going to church amen uh been a religious uh, uh been been religious all your life you know church know about church go set in church amen come to church amen but but when you leave church and somebody asks you about god you'll deny jesus but then like peter oh glory be to god Help us today. Then, like Peter, we had our uh, 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 what I uh, what should I should, should say we we had a uh, 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 nah we don't we don't want to be like Paul and have well we could be like Paul and have uh, uh, our road to Damascus but but we want to be like Peter and the other disciples in the aspect uh, that we had a Pentecostal moment oh Amen God. and we had a Pentecostal moment in that aspect uh, that the Holy Spirit came in uh, like a mighty rushing wind uh, and the Bible said set upon them amen uh, so i got a little shot to help me today holy ghost amen and it said that they had tongues uh that were like cloven tongues like as a fire amen glory have mercy and, and they began to speak in these tongues why because now they had the gift of the Holy Spirit, amen. And, and see, we now, as the born again Christians, amen, we've left that world of, of being idle. We've left that world of, of being in the world, and we've passed into a, a world called holiness. we passed into a world called righteousness. we passed into a world called born again. we passed into a world called fellowship with Christ. we passed into a world of setting at his feet. we passed into a world where we have communion with God, communion with Jesus, communion with the Holy Ghost, we passed into another dimension. And in that dimension, amen, uh, we are constantly being exposed uh, to the gift of the Holy Ghost, oh, amen. Uh, and now that we are being exposed to the gift of the Holy Ghost, uh, uh, when people talk to us, uh, they get more than what they expect, amen. Uh, we live more than what they think they're going to get, amen. Oh, somebody say, oh, glory, more than. Uh, it's in the gift of the Holy Ghost uh, given by Jesus Christ, amen. Uh, you don't have to beg for it, amen. You don't have to pay for it. You just have to ask. Oh, my for God. It. Thank you, oh, God. Thank you. Because it's more of it. It's more of it. And now that we've become like Peter, amen, and we've had a Pentecostal experience with God, uh, whether we meet people sitting at the gate called beautiful, amen, whether we meet people in the drugstore, whether we meet people uh, uh, while we're shopping, whether we meet people on our jobs, whether we just meet strangers passing by. Uh, what's inside us is more than Jesus. It's more than enough 
to change a person's life. Oh, if I could just ask the man who sat at the gate, <laughs> called beautiful. If I could ask him, man, was it more than? I believe by the time I get the van out, he might jump up and leap and shout and walk all over again. Jesus. Because it's more there. Tell your neighbor. Tell yourself. Tell your children. Tell whoever else is around. More than. That's what Jesus Christ is. He's more than. Anything else ah, in this world? Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you now, God. We thank you for your word, God, that has gone forward unto this, thou people. I pray now, God, that the word has been sown on good ground, God. I pray, God, that it will produce a harvest, God, uh, that represents you in such a mighty way. Because you are more than enough, God. You are more than any expectation, God. You are more than, God. What, how we live, God. You're more than how we live. Live bigger oh, in us, Jesus. God. I, I have thine way, God, and continue to do a wonderful and mighty thing in us. We love you, God. We appreciate you, and we thank you for us in the precious and mighty and wonderful name of Christ. We do pray this prayer more than. Amen, amen, and amen. Well, if you do not know Christ in the pardon of your sins, amen. Today is the day that you get more than what you expected. Ooh, Amen. Uh, the Bible said, Jesus said, I stand at the door and knock. And if, and if any man will open up and let me in, he said, I'll come in and sup with him and he with I. Amen. Uh, so today we offer unto you, amen, the, uh, uh, the, the gift of salvation, which is Jesus Christ. Amen. The, the Bible said, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth and believe in thine heart that God raised the Lord Jesus from the dead, then thou art saved. You ain't got to turn no flips. You ain't got to turn around three times. You ain't got to run down the street. Only thing you got to do is confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised his son from the dead. Amen. And through that gift, uh, you receive eternal life. Somebody say, I'm saved. I'm saved. Amen. And, and glad about it. Amen. If you're saved and glad about it, give God a praise. Amen. Give him a shout. Amen. Because he's worthy. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. But, 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 but don't stop there. Amen. After you accept uh, the will of God in your life, after you accept salvation, amen, come on into the, the house of God. Amen. And learn to be a disciple for Christ Jesus. Amen. It's not enough just to be saved. Amen. You got to live saved. You got to walk saved. You got to be saved. Amen. amen. Uh, and, and, and we learn that but in the word of God. Uh, for the born again believer, amen, who's been walking in Christ, continue to walk in Christ because he's more than, amen. You can fill in the blank all you want to, but he's more than, amen. Glory, amen. He's more than just a deliverer, amen. He's He's more than just a doctor. He, he's the best doctor. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. But he's more than. And continue to let him be more than in your lives. Amen. We we thank God for his word. Amen. So uh, to the new saint coming into Christ. Amen. Get into the word of God. Find your church home. Amen. If, if there's not one open around, you continue to, to tune in to us. Amen. We're, we're going to teach, preach, and live the word of God. To the born again Christian, amen. Uh, stay in the word of God, amen. Stay in your word, amen. Stay tuned in. Continue to let God do a wonderful and marvelous thing in your life, amen. Uh, to all the saints, amen. I pray the power of God will continue to move in you, through you, and up on you, amen. That in all things he may truly have his way, amen. Well, saints, amen. To God be the glory, uh, 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 the Holy Ghost say that's it. Amen. Uh, and I stop when the Holy Ghost say, stay stop. Amen. And since he has said that is it for today, we're going to get ready to leave this, this um, broadcast. Amen. And, and we pray that the word of God has truly uh, um, blessed you and that you will live this word of God uh, with power, with authority. Amen. And with excitement. Amen. Oh, to God be the glory. Amen. So as we prepare to leave uh, uh, this, 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 this um, broadcast, let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you now, God, for what you've allowed us to 
experience through the gift of your Holy Ghost at this time. We thank you for your word, God. We thank you that your spirit does testify about your son and your son testifies about the father. Amen. And, and all of it testifies about your greatness. So, so we thank you, God. We appreciate you and we love you. We pray now as we depart from uh, the presence of the people, God, that we'll never depart from your presence, God. Keep us all in your presence. Let us, allow us to be want to be kept in your presence, God. And we're asking now, God, that you will speak for us, through us, and on our behalf. And in all things, may we be found truly giving you glory, honor, and praise for you are the true God. In Jesus' name, let the church say amen, amen, amen and amen. Well, once again, we thank you for tuning in today. We pray that the word of God has truly blessed you. And tune in with us on, on Tuesday night as we continue in the book of Proverbs. Amen. Somebody say a practical way of living. Practical Amen. Way. So be there. Amen. On Tuesday night. Amen. And, and if you're not there on Tuesday night, we expect you to, to see you again Sunday morning. But until then, as always, be thankful, be blessed, and be in God.